Hey everyone, how you going? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to say hello and thank you to all my subscribers, uh, friends and non-subscribers and trolls, bots and of course those lurkers alike. Yeah, hey you, hey, how you going? <laughs> Thanks for clicking and watching. Alright, and hello to you if you're watching in the future. Today's the 7th to 9th of July. And it's like 3.57 a.m. Can't sleep, yay. I can't believe what this is. Hey, he's an easier coaster. I don't know why someone would even think of coming up with such a creation. But I want to share this. Uh, Ethan Asia Coaster is a hypothetical steel roller coaster designed to kill its passengers. In 2010, it was designed and made into scale model by Lithuanian just artist, uh, can't even say, a PhD candidate at the Royal College of Art in London, was it Ubonus, who had worked at Amusement Park at the start, stated that the goal of his concept roller coaster is to take lives with elegance and euphoria. <laughs> As for practical applications in design, Ubonus mentioned euthanasia or execution. Yeah, this is why I'm making a video. John Allen, who served as the president for the Philadelphia Toboggan Company, inspired Urbanus with his description of the ultimate roller coaster as one that sends 24 people and they come back dead. Concept design of the layout begins with a steep angled tilt to the 510 meter or 1,670 foot drop, tilt which would take two minutes for the train to reach any passengers that wish to get off could then do so. From there, a 500 meter, 1,600 foot drop would take the train to 360 kilometers an hour or 220 miles, close to the terminal velocity, before flattening out and speeding up to the first of its seven slightly cosmosoid. A new spiral is a curve with the curvature changes linearly with the curve length. Euler spirals are also commonly referred as spirals, clot holes, or corner spirals inversions. Each inversion would have a smaller diameter than the one before in order to maintain a lethal 10G to a passengers while on a train, while the train loses speed. After a sharp right hand turn, the train would enter a straight while unloading of the corpses and loading new passengers could take place. After a sharp right hand turn, the train would enter a straight when unloading of the corpses and loading of new passengers could take place. The euthanasia coaster would kill its passengers through prolonged cerebral hypoxia or insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. The ride's seven inversions would inflict 10 Gs on its passengers for 60 seconds, causing G-force related symptoms starting with grey out, tunnel vision, blackout and eventually G-lock. G-force induced loss of consciousness. Subsequent inversions or another run of the coaster would serve as an insurance against unintentional survival of passengers. So they'd run it again? Wow. Because yeah, I've seen uh, Air Force pilots like do it. I've seen one of a woman do it and she did 10 Gs. So if you squeeze your butt cheeks and breathe properly, take small breaths and inhale, I don't know. <laughs> Ubonus concept drew media attention when shown as part of a human display at the Science Gallery in Dublin from April through to June 2011. The display designated as its 2011 flagship exhibition by the Science Gallery aims to show the future of human beings and technology within this theme. The Euthanasia Highlight Coaster highlights the issue that comes with life extension. The the item was displayed at the Human Plus exhibit at this place in Barcelona in 2015. In 2012, Norwegian rock group Major Parkinson released Euthanasia Roller Coaster, a digital single with lyrics alluding to the urban Euthanasia Coaster. Lave Tater's short story, Vladimir Chong Chooses to Die, incorporates urban bonus Euthanasia Coaster into the ending. Glenn Payton's short film, H Positive, explores the motivations of a wealthy man who, upon discovering that he is dying, commissions an architect to build a euthanasia coaster identical to Urban's designer, 
though Urbone is not mentioned during the film, the end credits affirm that the film was based on the project. Author Amanda Saint wrote a flash fiction called Golden Glow, which tells the story of people in a queue to get on the euthanasia coaster and cites it as her inspiration of the story. This is just freaky, you know. What a way to do mass executions. I don't see it as a uh, euthanasia. I think it could be like four steps execution, you know. You bored? Go for a ride. Yay! <laughs> and this is the short story from here, Golden Glow. Man, she won a flash action. She wrote a flash action. Sorry. Sorry, this is the girl here. This is this book here. And this is it here. Goes, she can't wait to get on what she would... Uh, she can't wait to get on what will be the riders, wildest ride of her life. She didn't even have to prove she was terminally ill. Just pay the fee so she could swirl through the seven loops and find answers to all her consuming questions. The spiritual must say, if you let go of attachment, then death will take you into the pure light of knowing. She really wants to be that true. You can see it soft, glowing, golden. Nobody will miss her or even notice that she's gone Not now. You shouldn't get on, a gravely voice from behind says. He's read raw from whatever treatment has failed to cure him, like he's been burned, gazing upon her from a wheelchair through shiny eyes that don't match his frailing body. You know nothing about me, she turns away. I know, I wish I didn't have to do this. Why are you, he says. She wants to ignore him, to not let him ruin this moment, the anticipation, but she can't. She turns back. That's none of your business. He shifts in his chair and puts the skin peels away from his leg, sticks to the seat. Last year I got ill, something they'd never seen before. Nothing helps. She sighs, a mix of frustration and pretty. Well, I'm sorry that you got sick, but that's nothing to do with me. That's my decision. His scorched lips smile at transform him. Some he'll how his riddle face becomes one with lively eyes she can't help but grin back i want to see the beauty of the world and the incredible things that human do he says her grin fades what like fighting wars and polluting the oceans his smile widens as it does and patches of unblemished skin appears on his cheeks we save animals and rehome them we dedicate our lives to helping others more fades burn away before she can reply, he carries on. We dance, we sing, we paint, we write. We are endlessly creative and intimate. She shakes her head. It's not enough, but the memories, the ones she always pushes away because they hurt too much, are crowding in. Her cheeks glow with health now, as he says, we love. She wants to say how wrong he is, how bad things are, but her images fill her mind. Long forgotten kisses, hands on the body, Breath in her hair, giggling at shared secrets, smuggling, smooching, spooning, always there for each other, only apart because he went way too soon into the golden glow. He wouldn't want her to do this. As if this magic man in the wheelchair can see her memories too. He's nodding, laughing, his burns are completely gone. Now he stands. She grabs his hands. Life is amazing. She sobs. He pulls her into a hug, mind blowing. The buzzer announces the arrival of the roller coaster car. There you go. I, I don't think that's the answer. I mean, if you ever feel that way, please, you know, even message me or, or someone. There are many ways to get in touch with me. Don't ever feel that low where you feel like you have to do that. It's not the way out. It's not the answer. You know, life's not easy. But it's just sick, this. I, I don't even get why people would be thinking of, of it except for this. I mean, you can't think of it as conceptual art, but this is the only reason I can think that they would do it. They'd be looking at ways to execute huge amounts fast without a mess. So this is supposed to be it. I just can't think, like, why would they do something like this? Unless they're trying to, you know, take the fear of death away and and make it look like something good and have people on one side and make out that they're going to go over to the other side once they're processed. You know, that's the sort of thing I can see that they would do. You know, have like a platform that drops the track down below 
and then, you know, have a car come up and then sort of have the next one go along. It's plausible, like, possible. It's just sad that someone would actually build such a thing. It's really sad. So it's a... How can it be classed as art? So it goes 500 metres up. That's just freaky. And it just... Shoom, drops. And they reckon by the time you get to the first loop, you'd be dead. It's just like, not No way. Holy cow. Oh, no way. Nope. No way. Oh my gosh, no. No way. It's just sick. Like, I used to like roller coaster and theme parks when I was... A bit younger, but nah, not now. So yeah, they've got it here as capital punishment, execution methods. <laughs> so this is why it's just got me thinking, why would someone um, do such a thing? I know it's somber, but I just wanted to share it. It's, it's pretty grotesque. It's, it's crazy, really grotesque, and... Yeah, I just can't get 3 minutes 20 seconds. <laughs> Amaze it's not 3 minutes 33 seconds. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Wherever you are in the world, you raise those vibrations. Much love. Bye now.